uh, we need to put some checks and balances in place at the Public Service Commission when it comes to high utility rates of this state. Our seniors can't afford it, our young people can't afford it, in some cases, it's, uh, our, our young people, it's more than their car payment, it's more than their trailer payment, and everyone knows there's a lot of trailers in West Virginia, it's more than their house payment, and they are suffering. It's time to say enough's enough, and let's put a stop to it. You've got the power to do that tomorrow if you want to. I'm just saying, let's bring some accountability in the system, and I'll do that as you go. So the first thing you want to do is see what they're doing, have it open and transparent, just the way I run the house, and see why we're why we're having what justifies the rate increase and let, let the people know what it is. And again, I think the state is going in the wrong direction, we're not helping our small businesses out. I want to see a tax break for small businesses such as no payroll tax for a year if you have a new hire. We've got to get this unemployment rate down. It's too high in West Virginia. It's hurting us everywhere. It's all related, so you have to, you have to be in a position to be for the, the working families, for the consumers out there fighting these kinds of things like utility rate hikes and gas rate hikes and fighting to roll back the food tax so you can put more money back in people's pockets to spend. And that's what I'll do as governor. Well. In order to ensure that those rates are competitive and justified, we need a strong independent consumer advocate with veto power if necessary to stop some of the rate increases. I've heard it said maybe we ought to go out and just elect our public service to that would be a horrible mistake. If you think it's political now, wait till you get three guys elected or three ladies elected to that board and see how they react. Well, the governor really does not have the authority to roll back one of their decisions and, and, uh, and lower rates. Uh, I can tell you that uh, when there's a position open, that, uh, and I will appoint a new commissioner out there, that uh, they would be very much uh, cognizant of what the people are going through. Now, if I may say something, uh, my program is based on getting back John Amos Parkland. Uh, I believe it was illegally taken and it's going out of state. We're losing billions of dollars that West Virginia can use. And I believe we need to take it over and, and give it to John Perdue. I mean, I'm sure he can use the money in the West Virginia Treasury.